Hi, it's Landry here on Landry on God on YouTube, hoping to create wealth in every area of your life and giving some of my advice and experience that has helped me to become successful in a lot of areas of my, in my life. And one of them is I made a pretty big change and went after my dreams. So I want to talk today in this video about your dreams and ask you if you've achieved them. Now my guess is you probably have not because you would be in the majority of people. In fact, very few people have achieved their dreams and those who have achieved what they thought were their dreams get there and find out they're really not that happy. I know a lot of extremely wealthy people that had uh, achieved unbelievable uh, goals and then were very um, lonely and very empty and realized there was more to life. And so the bottom line is that, you know, when you have total peace inside, everything outside of you is just an extra. But we can have both. And I want to talk about your dreams because, you know, I can talk about the spiritual stuff all day, but I know there's still a desire in you to have the things, the, the money, the relationship, the, uh, the joy. And, of course, these things do go together, spiritual and the physical world, because we are here on this planet. We are human beings, and we should have those things. We should be able to enjoy all the things in life that we, we would like to have, provided that, that it is not such a focus of ours that we lose sight of the fact that we, we have a bigger purpose, and that'll be my next video, is, is your purpose. So, I want to talk about why you don't have your dreams, your dream life. Why haven't you accomplished your dreams? Do you know why? Have you asked yourself that? Can you like stop right now and think, why am I not living my dream life? What, what has stopped me from achieving my goals? If you really think good and hard, you're going to have to say, it's all the actions you did or did not take up until this moment. That's it, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to take full responsibility there's nobody else responsible for your life but you. Because no matter what comes at you, you still have choice. You still can make decisions about your life as to how it plays out. Now, if, you, if you've ever studied Nostradamus or Dolores Cannon, who does some unbelievable stuff, and, and um, she has recorded that she has communicated with Nostradamus, whether you believe that or not, the bottom line is Nostradamus even says that there's nothing that he predicted, he was pretty good at it, that couldn't be changed. And a lot of things he predicted haven't come true because we, as a collective consciousness, have changed the history of this world. And we have that ability now to do that. Which means you have the ability to do that in your own life. Do you believe in quantum physics? I don't know why you wouldn't. It's not a theory, it's fact. You can change everything through your thought. The scientists were changing the results of experiments by their thought. They weren't doing that on purpose and they found out that their thoughts were actually affecting the results of experiments. Look it up, it's mind-blowing. If you don't know this, you need to know this because no matter what you believe spiritually, and people can sit and argue this all day, the bottom line is science is telling us that everything is connected and that we in fact are changing the results of everything through our thoughts. You wield that kind of power. So my question to you is why aren't you changing your life to create your dreams? You have to make a decision. How did I do it? I made a decision. I knew that what I was doing wasn't working. It wasn't getting me to where I wanted to be and that until I made that decision to change that, to do something, it wasn't going to change. Nobody was going to come along. I could sit and meditate mm, all day long, you know, hoping something will happen and come to me. You know, they can come all day, all opportunities can come all day, but until you take the action, until you make the change, 
nothing is going to change in your life. Now, we mostly fear that, and that's, that's the reason why most people don't have their dream life. It will take uh, going into an uncomfort zone. It will take effort. It will take some action that you're not used to taking that's going to put you in a completely different place. And that, that's difficult for most people because it's in their head that that's a fearful place. But if that got you to your dream life, what is so fearful about that? You know, I had to quit investment banking. I let my securities license go. That's huge. It's very difficult to get those. And I had them for quite a while. And I remember at midnight when they expired. And I thought, oh my God, what am I doing? 20 years of investment banking. And when they expired, it was like a huge lift. Weight was lifted off of me. I can't even explain how it felt. It was so fabulous. It surprised me and I realized I'd been carrying that around because it was something I didn't love, something I was not passionate about anymore. And you can do the same thing. Now I've got a link on here. I, I, I took on internet marketing because I knew that no matter what I did, that I wanted to get in technology and be automated. I've got a link on here. You can hit it if you want to learn internet marketing and apply it so you don't have to do anything radical. But no matter what you decide to do, you have to ask yourself right now why you don't have your dream life. And you're going to have to make a decision to take action. You're going to have to actively make some decisions and put them into action to change your life. And that's the only way it's going to happen. And otherwise, year after year after year is going to go by and you will be in the exact same place you are. Then you're going to do what I did. You know, hopefully, you know, you're younger and you're going to make a decision. If you're not, I don't care if you're in your 60s. I know people in their 60s learning internet marketing with me that are just blowing the doors off of everything and changing their lives because they're tired of sitting in the same job which is supposedly successful, they're supposedly doing well, but they're not happy. You know that feeling. We all know that feeling. And I'm not saying it's always easy, because life has challenges. It's about the journey. Embrace it. Quit living in fear. Quit hiding and telling yourself that that's too difficult, or, oh, I'd have to learn something new, or, oh, God, I'd have to put in a little time. I mean, Yes, yes. What's so terrible about that? Guess what the alternative is? Doing something every day that doesn't make you happy, that's not giving you the income you want, that's not giving you the time, that's not giving you the joy you want. Go after your dreams. Ditch the fear. And by the way, I have fear a lot of, a lot of the time. I just don't pay attention to it. I just I don't let it control me. I just recognize it and I say, oh, there it is. And I just, it sort of tags along with me sometimes. I'm not acting on it. I'm not, I don't back off. I break through and I go ahead and do the thing, take the action. And by the way, not everything always works out. But I know that that thing that isn't working out takes me to the next step, taught me something that got me to the place I wanted to be every single time, every time. Get it out of your head that there are failures. There aren't any. Those are stepping stones to you getting the life you want. What is stopping you? Write it down. Put it on a piece of paper. What do you want? And even if you're not sure, start opening yourself up to possibilities. Start exploring things. Go visit my website if you want to check out the internet marketing. It's a, way to, it's a way to promote products and services. It's a way to do affiliate marketing. It's a way to promote uh, whatever you want to. If you want your own YouTube channel, if you want a, a marketing camera, if you want to write books like I do, there's nothing you can't do. It's all accessible to us. We have so much technology available to us right now. There's no excuse. You don't even have to leave your living room and you can reach millions of people. There's so much available to you. 
anyways, I, I, I hope I hope this helps you sort of clear out that fear, the thing that's stopping you from going after your dreams. Because if you don't have your dream life now, it's time to do something. It's time. You can have the money, the time, the freedom, the, the joy, the passion. And you can be a spiritually minded people. In fact, you'll be more powerful in that place than you are now if you're dissatisfied with your life. When you have more money and time and freedom and joy, you are a benefit to everyone else on this planet. You're going to bring good things. It will empower you. Just don't get hung up on the stuff so much, right? Anyways, I wish you great abundance. We're going to talk about your purpose in the next video. Take care.